Oh, hello there. Today we're going to be taking a look at the skill system in Guild Wars 2. I'm just going to go over how it works and have a little talk about how good it is and how much customization it offers. I thought I'd do this one live because it's easy, I'm just going to go through some menus. For an example here, we have my Ranger. He's currently wielding a greatsword, and you notice that the greatsword or your weapon determines what skills you have. In this case, I just have some basic sword skills, which I use to destroy that bird. If I switch out to the bow, these first five skills will change. So I can just destroy this worm with my bow skills. And my pet skills. We also have this, we can do a volley of arrows. Otherwise, you have these other skills on the right hand side. To get these skills, you're going to have to unlock them by collecting skill points. Skill points are usually uh, collected by killing someone, usually some kind of champion mob, you don't actually kill them, but you defeat them in combat. Or you can just find some light somewhere sometimes, just to commune with the light apparently and get a skill point. Those are the two major ones. There are a few other ones that I've encountered, but usually it's going to be one of those two. Once you have some skill points, like you see I do here, I have 18 skill points. You go into the skills, and you can just unlock a skill like so. I knew it all along. There we go. And then as you can see here, there's different levels of skills. So you have to put five skills unlocked in one to get the next uh, level of skills. So here I'm not going to have enough to buy the whole level of skills, because the elite skill is next, and I have not unlocked uh, any elite skills at all. There's a few elite skills here, although only some are usable in PvP which we're going to go to in a bit. So I'm just going to unlock this because this is a very useful skill. And then once you have skills unlocked like that, you go into here and just pick it. So we're doing this. We're going to do a... We're going to leave the signet here. The signet is gives a passive and an active when you activate it. And then finally we're gonna just have a flame trap. The flame trap will drop and then some, when someone goes in it, it will be activated. Your sixth skill is always a heal. And I haven't unlocked these other heals yet. How about I just do that? I'm gonna go into skills and unlock this new one, which instead of, this is a heal instant and instead we're gonna do a heal over time it heals both you and your pet as a ranger you see I have not unlocked my light skill yet and we're gonna see what the light skills are in a bit by going into PvP and boosting ourselves to max level the other really interesting thing in the game is the traits as you can see here, I've only unlocked a few traits so far. I have I've unlocked 12 points as I've leveled up. And I put them 10 points into this. So you see when you put a point into uh, one of the trees in traits, it will increase one of your stats. And then every 5 points, it will give you a passive here. And then every 10 points, you get to choose a passive. All the traits are passives, but you have a lot of options. Here you have five options to choose from, but once you get into the end here, you have six, uh, 12 options to choose from, and then let's see how many traits we have when we go into level 80. To do this, we're going to enter Structured PvP, which is something that will put us up to level 80 completely, so we can refund the trade points and completely go all the way up to a full set of traits. Now we're just waiting on the loading screen for a bit here. And here we are. So if we now if we go into hero, you'll notice things are a lot different.
I'm gonna refund all these traits. I already had. I already set up something for PvP, but I'm gonna refund them all and see what we have here. I think I'm gonna put stuff into some more survivability stuff, just because I've been noticing I've been dying a lot. So I'm gonna put a bunch. I'm gonna put 30 points in. I think there's an easy, easier way to do this, just by picking a skill here. So let's just pick a skill. We can create muddy terrain when we do falling damage, or we can grant swiftness when we revive someone. There's all kinds of things that are useful in all kinds of different situations, and support different play styles. The, the stuff that will make your pet deal damage quicker, or it's stuff that will make you do more damage. Survival skills recharge 20% faster is very useful if I'm going to pick a lot of survival skills, and I think I might just do that. This is actually a pet skill, this is a survival skill, so I don't think I'm going to do that actually. Instead, let's just pick a more tanky one, and it will also unlock this whole tree of skills. So I guess I'll just talk a little more about the whole thing while I fill out the rest. So you might be able to notice how how much customization this offers. It's really incredible, really. Uh, I think I'm going to go into nature magic yet next, just because I want more survivability and I want a lot of HP. I'm setting this up in the structure PvP for an example, but it will be the same thing at high level 80 world PvP or PvE. And in those different modes, you'll actually probably need to do a completely different build for each of them just to compete. The skill system is more complex than anything I've really seen in other MMOs. Like in World of Warcraft, for example. World of Warcraft, you have a whole bunch of skills to use, way more than this game. But the skill com the customization is very low compared to this game because you have all those skills unlocked and you don't have to make many choices in your build. I like making choices. I think it's a good part of an RPG. And we're going to increase greatsword damage because I really like using a greatsword. In terms of possibilities for builds for each class, I think just doing a little simple math, something like World of Warcraft has a few hundred different ways you can build a class. Something like this has thousands upon thousands of ways you can build a class. We're going to increase some dodging there. That, that's an example of something you can do in the skill system in this game. You can just increase the effect your dodges have. If you want to be a build that focused more on dodging, you might not want to do that in the beginning because I find that coming from other MMOs, it's kind of hard to dodge right away. So we're going to put the final few points into skirmishing for some damage and then just figure out which skill we want here. We can make our pets do a lot more damage. We can bleed enemies. We can. This will create a spike trap when you decide to revive an ally. So if you're going to be a more support type, then you want to pick that. I kind of like dealing damage, so I'm going to make my pet do actually I'm gonna make my pet move 30% faster because sometimes you really need that just to chase down enemies because you can shoot them with a bow but you cannot always get your pet to catch up to them because your pet is probably a lot of your damage over half your damage as a ranger now I have bought all these weapons I don't I haven't actually bought them because you don't need to buy them in the PvP you get them for free so I am going to equip a greatsword because I just love the greatsword. And then as my secondary weapon, I think I'm going to use an axe. And let's see. A torch. An axe and a torch will allow you to throw the torch and do some AoE damage as well as just chase down opponents with the axe with a little bit of range damage when they're running away. I think this is probably a decent ranger build. In terms of skills, I'm going to keep my uh, 
heal over time and then this will speed up all my moves and make me do more damage in a certain amount of time and then this will actually protect my pet it, it also uh, makes me and my pet take less damage all the time but when I activate it it will make my pet immune for a while so it's very useful you you want to watch your health as a ranger I'm gonna make a more in-depth video about ranger play later but this is a build I'm doing as for my light skill which I have now unlocked I'm just choosing something that will make me and my pet do more damage so this is a more damage focused build as you can see hopefully this video has given you some insight as to how the Guild Wars 2 PvP system sorry the Guild Wars 2 skill system works I'm gonna finish up with this build now and try it out in PvP if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future you can subscribe and let me know Getting healthy. thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you next time